witnessed the declaration of the state of emergency and the 21-day lockdown. Many Namibians seem to be worried about their livelihoods, and rightfully so, particularly those dependent on social grants. Now, this is despite assurance by the Department of Gender Equality, po Poverty Eradication, and Social Welfare in the presidency that grant payments to the elderly, orphans, and vulnerable children will not be disrupted by the 21-day lockdown. We're now joined on the line by the Executive Director, Esther Lusipani, on the line to answer some of the lingering questions. A very good evening to you, Madam, and thank you so much for joining us. Hello? Hello, good evening. Yes, Madam, can you hear me? Yes, but there's a noise on the line. All right, uh, uh, let's, let's try this. Uh, the first question is, that are there special arrangements on how social grants would be paid or will, the, will, will it be the usual schedule? Yes, the social grants will be scheduled as usual. Um, the, the pensioners know when they, get, they usually get their, their money. Uh, the, therefore, there are no, there's no difference. It will continue as usual. The only difference is that we have to observe the protocols because of the COVID-19 mm -hmm. in terms of uh, social distancing, in terms of sanit sanitation to make sure that people's hands are cleaned. Uh, that's basically what we'll be observing. Mm. Last week, the minister, Lorraine Sioka, said that the food bank parcel distributions will also continue. Now, with the social distancing part uh, being part of the, the measures, Will the distribution method be changed? Will there perhaps be an introduction of door-to-door -door, uh, deliveries instead of uh, people gathering at one point? People will be gathering at one point in terms of food parcels. Uh, the only issue we'll make sure is that we'll call them uh, alphabetically to know which location starts first to limit the number of people who are in the queue. If they arrive with big numbers, we might have to turn some of them back and then schedule them to come later just to, to prevent these long lines. Now, we know that uh, the, the, the lockdown will now uh, affect the, the, the whole country. Uh, will the arrangements also be, uh, also be applied as you're doing it uh, in, in Vintuk? Yes, 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 arrangements will apply. Uh, fortunately, the biggest number of food parcels are actually Vintuk. The rest of the country has... Uh, very, very few numbers of people on, on the food bank. Therefore, those will be very, very easy to control. The, the biggest issue where we have, we have about uh, close to 6,000 people on the food bank in window. So it, it's a higher number than anywhere else mm -hmm. in the country. Lastly, we understand that social window. workers are also under instruction to remain on duty throughout the, the lockdown. Uh, can you please, please share with us what are some of the queries or needs which they are expected to attend to? Yes, um, in terms of social workers, we are anticipating, you know, most people will be home for a long time, uh, so there will be social issues coming up. You know that in Namibia we have a high issue of gender-based violence, and the more people are in their homes, we, we think this can, be, can erupt. Uh, therefore, we have made special arrangements for that to happen. There are also issues of uh, child dumping. If a kid is uh, picked up somewhere, we also have to take care of that. Uh, we also have to do children counseling. All these issues have to be taken care of, although we are under this 21-day uh, lockdown. All right. Madam, yeah. thank you so much for your time. You're most welcome. All right. And that was Esther Lusipani, the Executive Director of the Department of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication, and Social Welfare in the Presidency, talking to us about the, the plans that they have in place in ensuring that the service is delivered.